another one of those days. One where I'm never actually certain of any sort of family safety. If you've got co-workers vying for the affection and wanting to tear the family apart, and yet still enemies of the state and criminals and maybe your outside spy organisations also vying for to take them down. Why can't they just have a nice trip down the dog park or something? But now that Yor has successfully shown exactly why she should be the parental mother figure, if not for a tennis backhand, then I'm not sure for what else. Maybe she would have she has solidified her position there for at least the time being. But what about the rest of them? Is Anya actually going to get any closer to... Maybe not being friends, but at least having some sort of communication with this Damien, trying to get in with the Desmond household. Are we actually going to get back to that storyline? Maybe we should find out. You know, there are some shows which obviously take this subject matter a little more serious than Spy Family, but being able to just essentially know that everything will be fine at the end of the day and we go back to the status quo, maybe with a, a dog or something at the end of it, is uh, somewhat comforting. Sometimes you like the more formulaic kind of shows. Of course, there really does need to be more fleshing out, maybe, of uh, Anya's skills and how she's using her abilities, because running around as she is as a five-year-old playing a six-year-old, um, just overhearing the thoughts of various people around her, which gets her into certain situations, considering how interesting some of the things she's hearing is. Do kind of want to know her proper backstory, how it all panned out. Don't know if I want to give it away so easily. There's a poll there. She, uh, she definitely needs a rest. She's going through some troubles. Despite winning so vehemently in the in the tennis, what an awful, awful man! Damn it, Lloyd! He has some work cut out for him now. Got some work cut out for him, not only making sure that Yord is in a good state of mood mind but to clear the mood of the neighbours as well. Yeah, I could see that as well. But then again, it would... Yuri's reaction... is basically certain. However, if you would actually divulge anything there... but you're already giving up on that little game. It starts out blue and goes to more of a uh, navy blue. I mean, he's he was doing quite a fine, a fine job at it before, and compared to his actual work, maybe it's uh, more along his side, his calling. In this case, though, it would work. God damn it, Frankie. You've got to kind of love his his character, though. Complains about everything, his life not going his way, but still just going along with things.
So a the usual. I mean, it's quite the nice, kind of quite a nice uh, establishment that he, he, he he's came here. However, you're no longer needed. Bye. To hit the Nandayo. I mean, the situation that she has brought, built up in her mind. She will have nothing. And how relieved is she going to be when once uh, things actually come to mind about what, what he's actually trying to say here. She's making a statement based on what her imagination is on of his mind. Still can't bring herself to say it, though. I just want to give up this life. I mean, you... <laughs> Down in one gulp. She's not getting... Oh, the scotch would be expensive. You don't want to go through scotch like that. Quiet in your voice a little. <laughs> she might not be in a in the right state of mind now to hear it all. Also, how quick did that drink hit her? You might want to cut them off. Must be so rough, wouldn't know what that was like. I guess right now, being able to get get her actual uh, feelings here through, be able to. He actually spent quite a while fixing his uh, fixing his face for that. Is it really though for the the best here? I mean, sure, he's trying to go for his uh, if his training, but does he want to fix this by a uh, honey trap kind of thing? Taking advantage of her. Well, at least that's a straightforward answer. He caught some air time. Good save. I wonder if that took him longer than 0.1 of a second to... Uh, To it to uh, collect himself. I mean, this is some really intense mind games being played. I mean, if he's now getting a sense of comfort. Some nostalgic familial contact like this. I mean, she, uh, not not seem it, but apparently has quite the, quite the, uh, motherly feel every once in a while. Did she care? Well, should be lucky he didn't call the police or anything. Five minutes? 
maybe we should see the see a watch or a clock or something. I wouldn't trust her judgment in time. And actually, thinking about it now, after being kicked in his face, that not everything is these games and tr people trying to get ahead. Are we, I like the tape on the window showing you that they lived in dangerous times. They could shatter at any moment, but... Giving his family something that he didn't have as growing up. I think that's what it kind of means to be a proper parent, wanting to do best for everyone. Everyone shows it in different ways. He's definitely just a co-worker. It is purely in the way of just getting the job done. I'm surprised that he could uh, fully understand her. I think now her adult mind is uh, calmed. Just needs to smooth things out with the neighbours now. At least this one didn't didn't result in another uh, scrape to his chin. He can make it himself. I wouldn't trust her with anything warm in this state that she is. Of course. What an odd question. Is... Is Frankie gonna... St start questioning this fake family... Like... <laughs> Close. <laughs> and yet now she's found herself in a situation where she can actually smile as those that she can rely on and rely on her. If only having a family could be so easy as just a At least, yeah, they went through it once. So the second time around to this conversation might be might go slightly easier. How long is it going to be before they realise she's lurking around the corner? I mean, she gets the gist of what, of the plan. The idea is just not get not get expelled from the school. That's the the main goal right now. I didn't take long. I guess Becky would be interested though. It's like the TV dramas and the like. It's not quite the same rep. Mm, peanuts. <laughs> yeah, she she is just bursting with anxiety and uh, 
and embarrassment there. I'm not sure that would exactly work for Anya, though. Her actions slightly deride any sort of effort she's going to put in here. It's probably because he's in the front of the car driving. Wait, what? <laughs> I mean, get the intentions out straight you know, on the offset. They are so spo so spoiled. I mean, whether it be dresses, a new hairstyle, some accessories, that nah, peanuts would be better. How much is it costing her just standing in the doorway? <laughs> just her presence is enough to pay for she Must be nice. Excuse me? Okay, she might have a bit too much disposable income. She just rent out a department so peanuts. Of course, Becky would be the type. What is the middle one? It's like uh, Psyche K or something. But <laughs> of course, Becky would make her go the full fashion walkway, runway type. Sh He's just having a bit too much fun here and forgetting the whole reason behind why they're here. I mean, if they are a school, don't they have to follow a uniform anyway? So all of this is completely superfluous. Okay. Okay, now this would be a good time for her to read the mind to say, oh, if parents are going to be there, then Damien, the whole point of this all. She has found a new recording right now. I think she really needs to have... Uh, a couple of words said to what is that? Stylish? Uh, maybe I'm just too far outside of the fashion world to understand. I think she has too many, <laughs> too many kind of yes men agreeing to her every decision. And they're definitely not only saying this because all of their livelihoods are being paid for right now. As much as I despise kind of going out clothes shopping and all this, if it was an entire store completely devoid of anyone else there, maybe it would go slightly better. She's too tired to even eat. You nurse when the you've gone at it too hard. It was kind of one sided shopping. She was rather lost through most of it. 
the immediate turn, though, though the shopping itself might not have been on her level. If it gets you a friend like this, maybe uh, flashing your cash, cash once in a while isn't such a bad thing. It's like the mascot of this store. We saw him in the entrance. Hmm. Ah, I got some backstory to the department stuff right here. There you go, you just need to play to the emotions. Oh, she enjoyed playing, spending the time with her today. While Becky is uh, conditioned to... That was quite fast, but... Conditioned to only accept the very best, but... Uh... There are certain exclusions to the to the rule set that the the father has laid out. Now, which one did she actually buy? I I think that's quite the important part. Not very elegant when she's sleeping. <laughs> But I think she she's so very harsh of her words and calls it as she sees it. And now yet she is broken from her old mo mold, found a friend of maybe a lesser creed. And actually, you know, so clearly wants to have a normal life and friends. It's uh, just a shame it had to be on you. <laughs> Oh. Good thing he can. He might be able to. Oh, they're matching. He might be able to charge that against the. Uh, the 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 funds for the mission. Get a few expense reports for. So fashion wasn't necessary. someone else that isn't exactly uh, forthright with their their emotions. It is amusing how just Anya being somewhat combative and forcing herself into the situation just to be somewhat near and around him has paid off in the way she is not ready for at all. And after a evening of heavy drinking, I'm glad that Yor is somewhat now more comfortable with her position in the, in the family. Exactly how much Lloyd went over the series of events with her again afterwards. Not exactly sure there. I think after a, a day out shopping with her friend, Lloyd is definitely going to need to make keep a tighter eye on Anya and uh, what she's spending. <sighs> I 
we've seen just like this school is full of people from quite distinguished families and backgrounds and yet none of it has really been paraded in front of us quite so clearly as this renting out an entire department store just going around oh we don't actually have to pay for anything they just give it to us and i'm sure they'll collect funds later on and i think the store can really um afford losing so much merchandise and just giving it to her free for free because they've got such a big family name and backing. I do wonder though, is Lloyd going to be a welcome customer back at that, uh, that bar if they cause such a scene? Maybe if he doesn't bring his wife along, maybe, you know. But then again, after she downed that entire bottle of scotch, she's certainly gonna make a bit of a mint there. How much did it act? Would, how much would it have cost for, to replace that? I'm not so sure we need the necessity of this Becky being so enchanted by Lloyd. Seems like an odd little plot point, even though you know you got kids and their odd uh, sense of attachments to certain people, but still. Seeing Lloyd so popular, I wonder if you're going to be questioning her role around anyone else other than this Fiona, considering she wasn't wrong about uh, thinking that there was someone wanting to take her, her, her role as the mother of the, the household. It was really good to see that Lloyd measured her worth, not in some weird contest of tennis or suitability to be a, a mother and how much should I should be able to whip Anya into shape and get her to the model student no it was actual motherly intention the fact that yours has been at it for a while considering she looked after her brother it's probably easier to convince the neighbours that yours is an actual mother rather than the alternative she probably wouldn't play well with the neighbours and small talk and the like. I think overall, though, we really need to spare a, a moment of silence for our boy Frankie. He has such grand plans for his life, what he wants to do, what he sets his sights and ambitions to. Always to be completely undermined at every turn. He doesn't really ever hit a good stride. Maybe one day, not any time soon, but maybe one day. He did an alright job babysitting, I guess. And considering he asked that question of Anya if she actually enjoyed or, or loved her, her, her family. I wonder where that, that is going. Well, whether or not you want to completely rent out the entire department store just for a few bits of clothes and maybe a trip with friends or not, well, that's up to you. If you've got the disposable income, go for it. Me, personally, I'm just going to stay inside. Maybe scroll through some online catalogues and then not decide to buy anything. But with that, if you enjoyed this episode, let me know. Leave a like and a comment down below. Consider subscribing. But for now, give yourselves a bit of rest. If you've had a bit much to drink, you may want to sleep it off. Definitely a waste of scotch, though. That still stings. See you in the next one. If you want to be this swift uppercut to my jaw that really hammers home the point, consider joining onto my Patreon. Save me from any bad decisions, really support the channel and going on further. And despite the multiple lacerations, I need to thank the likes of Noku, Sal, Croyville, Diego Zenhausen, Guado, Kite, Raywin, Lightwizard91, Shiwan, Tori Jane, and everyone else. Because without them, I would be drinking alone, and my channel would be far less entertaining.